Hey, we're the students for the exploration and development of space, and you might remember us from our Vulcan 1 rocket. Our interdisciplinary team is continuing to push the boundaries of space innovation and accessibility, but now we're reaching for the moon with our new satellite, Tritea. Tritea isn't just another satellite. That's not really how we like to work. Tritea is set to break some records. Our spacecraft is currently an award-winning entry in a $3 million competition sponsored by NASA, where it'll fly to the moon on the most powerful rocket ever built. It'll be the first student-built satellite to orbit the moon, and it'll be the only satellite to ever orbit the moon powered by an entirely 3D printed engine. You see, this is important because 3D printed propulsion systems drastically reduce the cost and increase the accessibility of going to space. Oh yeah, and did we mention that Trite is only the size of a cereal box? Trite is what's called a cube satellite. It's up to 400 times cheaper to build, and it's a fraction of the size. Tritea will take about six days to get to the moon for its year-long mission. We will be deployed from NASA's Space Launch System, or the SLS rocket, on its maiden flight. Tritea is a 6U CubeSat equipped with a 3D printed hydrogen peroxide thruster. This works by decomposing hydrogen peroxide through a catalyst bed to produce thrust. Most CubeSats are stuck in the orbit they're deployed in. However, Tritea's unique propulsion system gives it the freedom to maneuver as the mission requires. Additionally, the X-band radio allows for direct communication from our satellite to the ground station from the moon. Another critical component is the radiation-tolerant space processor that allows the CubeSat to essentially fly itself. Our team has spent nearly 25,000 hours so far designing and prototyping our CubeSat. In the first ground tournaments, we secured top five finishes propelling our progress forward, but there is still a ways to go. We're closing in on the final ground tournament where our team is seeking to secure a spot on the SLS rocket. Now we need funding to build some of our satellite's most complex parts, and if you donate, we have some really cool incentives that allow you to come on this journey with us. Things like putting your name on Tritea's onboard computer, printing it on a circuit board, visiting our mission control station, or even your own picture of the moon taken by Tritea. Obviously we're pretty excited by Tritea, but I did want to stress that we couldn't send anything 240,000 miles away if it wasn't for you. So from the bottom of our hearts here at SEDS UC San Diego, thank you so much.